Do we know something that the EU doesn't? Why are we taking staff out? Are you concerned about what might happen next? Well, first of all, I want to thank our, I want to thank uh, Melinda, our, our ambassador in, uh, in Kiev. Uh, I want to thank our wonderful staff there. They've done a, an outstanding job in a very difficult time. And we do think it prudent to make some changes now. The intelligence is very clear that there are 60 Russian battle groups, about 60 Russian battle groups on the borders of, of Ukraine. Uh, the plan for a lightning war that could take out Kiev is one that everybody uh, can see. Um, we need to make it very clear to the Kremlin, to Russia, that that would be a disastrous step. And so what we're saying is that the UK is leading on creating the package of economic sanctions, working with our, our partners um, around the world, might be talking to, to, to them this afternoon, this evening, uh, talking to, to, to colleagues in other capitals and in, in Washington. Uh, but we also need to get over the message that invading Ukraine from a, from a Russian perspective is going to be a painful, violent and bloody business. And I think it's very important that people in Russia understand that this could be a new Chechnya. I've been to, to Ukraine several times. I've, I've, I, I know... Uh, the people of that country uh, a bit. And my judgment is that they will fight. And really, uh, that is not the way the world should be going. And uh, I hope that uh, they understand that in the, in the Kremlin. But it's the job of the UK to make sure that our friends and partners around the world, particularly in Europe, you mentioned Europe, also understand that. And we get ready a tough enough package of, of sanctions. That sounds like you think a Russian invasion of Ukraine could happen and could be imminent. Look, I've got to, to tell you that I think that the uh, intelligence is, is pretty gloomy at this point. There is certainly a, a large, uh, very, very large uh, array of Russian forces and we have to take the necessary steps. I don't think it's ine by any means inevitable now. I think that sense can still prevail. But the UK is in the lead in creating that package of economic sanctions, uh, stiffening the, uh, the, the, helping to stiffen the resistance of, uh, uh, of our Ukrainian friends, uh, as you know, with defensive weaponry that we're supplying, and making it clear that we stand fully four square uh, with the people of Ukraine, and that we support the uh, sovereign integrity of, of Ukraine, and we do. Uh, but we also need to get over to, to Russia that any invasion, any incursion of any kind, of any dimension into Ukraine is not going to be a cost-free business. Uh, it is not going to be a... Uh, a, a, a it will, there will be casualties. And I think that people in Russia need to understand that it, it could be their, their new Chechnya. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff.